Hey racers, welcome back. Arts Fanatic here with another YouTube video. It is Saturday, August 7th, and August 7th this year is the annual Racing of the Kima here at Staub Brothers RC Speedway in Bonneville, Pennsylvania. Since its inception, this, this race raises countless money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of America. Every dollar raised it will go toward that, towards that. And uh, a little different than usual. Today, every racer rate pays $30 for registration. Any driver who raises more than that will race for free today, and any driver raising $50 or more will get a commemorative Staub Brothers Leukemia t-shirt that I will most likely be wearing later. <laughs> um, but, um... A lot of people ask why I don't do the, um, with these big races, why I don't do points after or the next week. Um, realistically, the big races don't count for the points, so there's no points to announce. I will announce winners like usual, though. That being said, um, I want to bring up something else, too. A lot of people have asked me about, um, pit maps recently, if I should, if they should get one or invest in one. Realistically, yes. <laughs> um, pit maps are great for not only racing during track days, but also if you don't have a workshop where you have to be working the coffee table, your kitchen table, that sort of thing. I think the pit map is a great idea. You don't have to get a big expensive one. You can go to any store and get a yoga map for cheap that's going to be, do the same basic thing. But if you want to get a good pit map, I recommend Phantoms. They're really good. Um, that's the one I use. And also on top of that, um, what I recommend doing is getting a, day, if you can, set aside in your house or in your parents' house a dedicated workspace. That way you always have some place to go. You don't have to clean up every time. You don't have to you know, roll your mat up, take your stuff out every single day. That gets tiresome than it before. Um, but with that being said, those are really the big tips. And I keep getting questions about it all the time. Like, you know, where's a good workspace? Where's a good, um, what's a good pit mat to get? That sort of thing. And, do I, and of course, do I really need one? But yeah, if you guys are seeing racers that get a pit mat, they're not wrong. You should. But that's kind of what I want to get to because that is, um, a pit mat is going to be huge for you. Especially if you're going to be racing. On top of that, that's about all I can say for today. So, this is the opening. Stay tuned for later for tonight while we're the closing and the results. As always, guys, keep rules on track. We'll see you next time. Happy racing.